I really really hope an SM social media manager just so happened to click on this very video because from the bottom of my ass crack I want to say that SM can eat a fat dick. Y'all don't know how to talk to people, y'all don't know how to talk to women, all y'all do is sit in, sit in streamers chats and goddamn beat your dick all day and goddamn want to come up to me asking me, dude, give me some Riz tips, Riz tip of the day, nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga, don't say nothing. I would also like to say that if you're an OT6 breeze or ever discourage other breezes from speaking about Sunghan you can eat a fat dick too. Now this could just be my slutty little American way of thinking but I find it incredibly disturbing that a young man or even young woman would have their careers on the line because some fucking creep spread their private photos of them having a relationship on the internet. I don't care if Sunghan was only in the group for two seconds. Like do y'all not recognize how alarmingly dehumanizing it is for him to publicly apologize twice and be punished for having a girlfriend and smoking a vape? This is some bullshit. It was a threat before, but now it's a promise unless SM goes through some serious reform I'm not giving any group they come out with the time of day ever again. Because as a fan, someone who's consuming content and streaming music, I don't appreciate being jerked around like this all because Knets would rather destroy someone's livelihood than take a step out of their parasocial delusion. If them lames spent more time washing their ass instead of wasting time and money to send protest wreaths to SM maybe they wouldn't be so reliant on idols of all people to feel loved and appreciated, fucking freaks. There's absolutely nothing ethical or moral about what's happened to Sunghan at all. It's hard to put into words just how outstandingly disturbed I am by this situation. Watching people's dreams get snatched from them over bullshit like this really is worth no longer being invested in K-pop. I think it takes a very basic level of human decency to be on Sunghan's side and the fact that K-pop fans don't have that in them deeply deeply disturbs me. In this men he gen x hype discourse at this point I empathize the most with everyone except for new jeans. Mostly what people are mad at them for is a result of their own doing. First it was men he gen bringing them into it in her first press conference now they're doing it all on their own, at the expense of Illit, Lesserafim, other women at hype and their new CEO. A woman just doing her damn job. As unprofessional as it was for Kim Joo Young to cry in the middle of a meeting it's not like it was unjustified. Why are new jeans and men he gen allowed to cry but not her? She was only CEO for exactly 14 days when all of the new jeans members got on live and intentionally used improper honorifics when referring to her and Hani painted her out to be a mean-spirited person to millions of people because she couldn't do anything about a situation that happened when Men He Jen was still CEO. If Men He Jen would have done better in a situation where a manager told the idol they're managing not to talk to Hani likely because Hani is a controversial figure, why didn't she bring up such a traumatizing experience up to Men He Jen when it happened? I'd cry too, if a celebrity told a one-sided story to their millions of fans where I'm the villain, a hated person by thousands for a situation I had no control over. How is it okay to call out Kim Joo Young for crying during a private conversation when Men He Jen did it for the press and continue to share intimate moments between her and New Jeans members to further push her fucked up mother figure role. I bet Illit were fans of New Jeans before they publicly sided with a woman accusing them of copying them and subjecting them to cyberbullying. If I were a female employee, especially one at a door, I'd be afraid that New Jeans are promoting a woman who's mistreated a sexual assault victim who worked for Men He Jen. She is a danger to the workplace. I don't see any women other than New Jeans, her daughters, who've worked with her speaking kindly on her behalf, and that is not a coincidence. Coming from someone who was legitimately groomed for years by my mother's boyfriend, a father figure to me at my most vulnerable age, who intentionally ignored all the blaring red flags because he made his validation mean that much to me. I was still held accountable and responsible for my actions at the time. When I was wrong I was wrong period. I didn't have millions of people justifying my mistakes that legitimately endangered my younger siblings' lives. Similarly to how New Jeans' support of men he gen lacks an understanding or empathy for how that might negatively affect Illit and Les Seraphim. Because I didn't have people coddling my every move I was able to really soak up what that man did to me, how he did it, how I was wrong as understandable as my mistakes were, and why I'll never be a bystander to that kind of treatment ever again. That's why it's annoying how I keep seeing people point out the flaw in New Jeans's actions, and Bunny's response is, you don't understand what it's like to be groomed, how the fuck can you just assume that about a stranger bitch? In this situation at 16 to 20 new jeans don't need coddling they need a reality check. Making excuses for everything new jeans is doing, especially from fans and their parents will only ensure that the same behavioral patterns that led to men he gen sinking her teeth into them will be repeated in other relationships they have where either they're the ones being manipulated or are the ones doing the manipulating without a care for how that may impact the people around them. Men he gen is a human cancer and everyone at HYBE including new genes need chemo. Forget that Frederick Arnault, Lisa's boyfriend, guy friend whatever, 
being ugly. That doesn't matter. That man is a literal zest. Or at the very least his family is and he's never denounced being so himself, but is still financially benefiting from his family's support of the Israeli government, which still just makes him a Zionist. But K-pop fans aren't talking about how one of the most popular K-pop idols in history is dating a man whose family are basically war criminals. No joke, his family is one of the biggest benefactors to Israel, no one's talking about Lisa willingly working and associating with him despite being disgusting but I can go on Somi's socials right now and see someone calling her a Starbucks queen. This is what I meant when I said K-pop fans are performative, because when it comes to holding your faves equally accountable you don't. Not that I want Lisa to get rape and death threats like Somi and Yunjin did for merely drinking Starbucks, but calling Lisa out at least, expressing frustration for her choice in companionship is justified. But I hear crickets. This is making no noise. Lisa isn't a fucking idiot. I'm not gonna coddle her ass either, not when she's pushing 30. This is morally wrong, there's no gray area. If she were one of my alts, BTS, I would literally be throwing up I'd be so sick, I expect so much better from them the thought alone is literally making me nauseous. If anyone is talking shit about Jaehyun from Boy Next Door, lend that bitch a prayer, because they are miserable in life. That's a cry for help if I've ever seen one. On my baby cousin's neat caps that person is depressed. To see an idol with an active, fun, or playful personality, like Nikki or Yuna and then feeling compelled to tear them down is so sad and pathetic really. This is how you make bad guys out of fandoms because the hate he's receiving for simply being joyful is unwarranted and from my experience one doors have been minding their own business. Ducked off in the cut chillin'. Again, Lisa is dating a well-known but I've seen more people talking down on Jaehyun. Be fucking for real.